Because the Earth absorbs and stores much of the energy it receives from the sun as heat, underground temperatures remain constant at a point between 42 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit year-round, depending on where you are. A geo-exchange system can use this energy source to economically heat and cool almost any kind of building, heat water, provide refrigeration, and perform many other kinds of applications. A geo-exchange system is made up of three components. A heat pump, usually located inside the building where it's protected from the environment and vandalism. An underground heat exchanger to act as a heat sink to store energy in the earth when cooling and to extract energy from the earth when heating. And a distribution system such as air ducts or hydronic radiant floor tubing to provide comfort control for the building space. The two types of heat exchangers commonly used are open loop and closed loop. A closed loop system uses a system of continuous underground pipe loops in which both ends of the pipe system are connected to the heat pump, thereby forming a sealed closed loop. Water, or a mixture of water and environmentally friendly antifreeze, circulates through the loop to transfer heat between the heat pump and the earth. In some installations, the pipes of a closed loop system can be placed in a horizontal trench dug below the frost line. The number of pipes in each trench and the number of trenches needed will vary depending on the size of the geo exchange system being installed and the type of soil found in the area. Another way to increase the heat exchange rate of a closed loop system is to take advantage of the naturally higher heat transfer capability of water over soil or rock. If a stream, river, or pond of sufficient size is available, coils of heat exchanger pipe can be installed on or near the bottom to form a pond loop system. In locations where space is limited or a large heat exchanger is required, the pipes of a closed loop geo exchange system can be installed vertically in wells drilled into the earth. As with the horizontal and pond loop systems, the number of loops and the depth of the wells needed in a vertical closed loop system are determined by the size of the building, system demands, the ground temperature, and other variables. Since it's not necessary for the heat exchanger to be connected to the rest of the system above ground, whichever type is installed can be placed within existing landscaping, under sidewalks, driveways, and parking lots, or even beneath the building itself. In an open loop system, on the other hand, groundwater from an aquifer is pumped through one well and passes through the heat pump where heat is added to or extracted from it. The water is then discharged back to an aquifer or harnessed for other water management uses. Because the system's water supply and discharge are not connected underground, the loop is open. 